Today, we're talking about how to replace a water recirculation pump on a dishwasher. So specifically, the model we're working on is manufactured by Sears and Roebuck. Um, there's other similar brand names that these go by, but you can see this is a model number 587.1514200. When you need to buy replacement parts and you do a Google search online for parts, you're gonna want your model number and oftentimes your serial number of your dishwasher. And there's different websites you can use to buy parts from. So again, this is the model that I have. And what it looks like. So one night at home, I ran the dishwasher, was sitting in the living room watching TV. Dishwasher started making a weird noise. Walked out in the kitchen to investigate and found a large puddle of water starting to flow out from underneath the dishwasher. So I looked underneath the dishwasher. You can see the dripping coming from that recirculation pump. So that's our problem. So I removed the dishwasher from underneath the kitchen uh, countertop out of the, the opening. I gently flipped it on its side and you can see the motor. There's a lot of carbon buildup. So to remove this motor, it's fairly simple. Again, before you do this, you want to make sure you disconnect the power plug from the outlet. Usually that's underneath your sink and turn off the water supply to your dishwasher. Then you'll need to use, in this case, a torque screwdriver to remove those two stainless steel screws. Squeeze that, that hose clamp there. There's a mounting bracket. You can see that alignment hole. Wow. This one has been in there so long, it's kind of stuck in there. There, there's two rubber O-rings in there that seal the pump. And again, mineral deposits and corrosion can kind of freeze those in there, make it challenging to get out. Woo! There it comes. But you can see the volute, excuse me, the impeller stayed inside. So that's really just the motor. So I will need to remove the impeller assembly next. There's an O-ring there, there's a shaft, and it feels kind of rough and hard to turn. Again, there's all that black carbon dust. So what I actually had to do to get the impeller out of here was turn the dishwasher back right side up, open the door from inside, remove the volute, and gently push the impeller out of the dishwasher from the inside. I'll give you a better look. So yeah, there's the Yeah, there's the impeller. That whole assembly needs to come out.
So there's a better look at it. And there's the impeller. So the one I bought, I found on eBay for $155, brand new, free shipping. They do have them for cheaper, but be careful because the ones that are cheaper priced than this did not come with the two O-rings that you need. So this one you can see in the picture comes with the motor, the two O-rings, and the small wiring harness connector. So there's a closer look of the two O-rings. After a few days, a new one arrived via UPS or FedEx. There's a brand new pump assembly, brand new motor with it. And you can see the motor and the impeller, it's all one assembly. Comes with a brand new little wiring harness connector. Those only go in one way and match up your wire colors. Here's your two new O-rings and they're different diameters so pay attention when you install those. And to ease installation with the O-rings I put a little bit of silicone grease on them. I'm just wiping out the interior where the O-rings go to make sure there's no debris or build up so the O-rings can seal properly. So I installed the two O-rings, as you can see, put a little bit of silicone grease on them, and you can see it helps it slide in nice and easily. No problem. Woo! This is how you want it aligned, so you can properly install your, your bracket here. Should slide all the way down that alignment pin, should go in the alignment hole. Then reinstall your two stainless steel Torx screws. Do not over tighten these because remember you're just screwing into plastic. And as a side note, if you look in this image, on the very top of the image, that black pump, that is your, your, your drain pump. So again, your dishwasher has two separate pumps, the drain pump and then that recirculation pump. So just FYI. And then simply reattach your, your power cable there, plug that back in. plugs up into there and then turn the dishwasher right side up again open the door this is how it should look you can see the impeller the o-rings seated nicely reinstalled the volute cover Reinstalled the round strainer mesh screen. Reattached that round plastic threaded nut. 
And then in my case, that spray arm just snaps back onto that. Make sure it spins freely. Then reinstall your, your two uh, dish racks. And then make sure you install the two screws on the underside of your kitchen countertop that secure the dishwasher with those brackets that you see in this picture. And then make sure obviously the door opens and closes properly. It doesn't catch on anything. Lastly, test run the dishwasher. Check for leaks under the machine. Never run the dishwasher while you are asleep or not home. Because you can imagine if I ran the dishwasher while I was not home, I would have come home to a big lake all over my kitchen floor. So always run the dishwasher while you are home and you can monitor its operation. And add some white vinegar to the wash basin once or twice a month. This will help descale the heating element and dissolve mineral buildup inside the machine. It'll also even help clean your dishes better. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.